Hi. Hi, welcome to On the Record. Thank you. Thanks for having me it's here. It's, this is a beautiful home you have here. Is that your dog, Gracie? This is my dog, Gracie. Very nice on your shirt. You have a nice dog shirt. I've really been missing her this yeah. week that we're in L.A. And so she can't really travel because she's old. It's a bulldog. Yes. Not she's, a French bulldog. She's not from France. Doesn't I, speak French. She does not speak French. Que tu parles français? No. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Now okay, you know. say in mot français. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying anymore. It's a French word. Okay. Hey, what's the etymology of okay? Do you know? I don't something. even know what the word etymology means. If we could figure out the etymology of the word etymology today, I think our brains would explode on camera. Ratings. <laughs> Have you ever done anything for ratings that you now regret? No. Say what? <laughs> I've turned my parents' vehicle into the slut mobile. I thought you liked lesbian and slut. You started that sort of reality prank comedy TV thing before the jackasses and Steve-O. Do you feel like you're the renegade and the pioneer and they were just following your footsteps? Uh, you know, I was a huge fan of shows like Candid Camera and things like that as a kid. When I started my show, we were basically trying to come up with things that we would regret on a daily basis. Would you watch my crotch? And then those would be the things we would go film and we'd put them on TV and uh, it was fun. I will pull these up, sir, and it's time to vote for Cal. When I was a kid, I was in, did college radio, and it was always about finding a forum to do something ridiculous where, where there were no rules. So that's kind of the nature of what I'm doing now. I really am embracing it. I do a podcast that's online called the Tom Green Radio Show, mm -hmm. which is a podcast. Right. But it's a radio it's show. It's like old-timey if you say radio. Yeah. Is I talk with time? my radio voice. Okay. Hey, you're listening to the Tom Green Radio Show. I'm your host, Tom Green. So you like the pageantry <laughs> of it all? Yeah, I do. I do like the performance of it. So what are the topics? Uh, well, we just did New Year's resolutions. Uh, do you have we've, any? We've talked about... Uh, do I have any? Yeah, uh, I've uh, decided... What was my New Year's resolution this year? Well, I, every year I say I'm going to be healthier. <laughs> I think you have to make the same one a year after year. Maybe yeah. you just like get with the fact that it's not going to really stick. I do all sorts of things, and I also actually go out in the street. Sometimes I'll do an entire episode where I just take a handheld microphone and I just walk down the street of whatever city I may be in. Do you get most of your material off the people on the street that you're talking to or off the guests that you're talking to, or do you, like, where's the well that it comes from? Um, it's just kind of life. Like, anything in life that strikes me as ridiculous or strange or funny. Everybody's text messaging now. This is how we communicate. We don't really need our legs anymore. Our legs are gonna start to retract into our bodies. We'll become these Jab of the Hut type blobs with nothing left. Nothing but two muscular, elongated, rapidly flapping text messaging thumbs. We've been talking a lot about technology and social media and how it's consuming our lives and making us all robotic. I consider it sort of like a, a, an obligation to inform and educate young people at my shows that they don't necessarily have to be on that phone all day. You're making a little video for your iPhone there, are you? Yeah, hey, I'm literally looking out. I just did 20 minutes on social media and I'm looking at this lady back there and, and, and I just I can see this and She was probably watching porn. I have a little campaign that I started many years ago called Lust. Yeah. Look up, stop texting. Yeah, I love so. that. I was just in Belgium, and uh, I was over there for a month and a half shooting this really cool movie called Iron Sky. And uh, Belgium's an interesting country where, like, you'll have, like, four different languages being spoken at any given time. So you'll be sitting in a restaurant, someone will be speaking French, someone will be speaking German. I started wondering, like, if people around just get used to hearing these kind of absurd languages. So I sort of created a language over there that I started speaking just to see if anyone would notice that it was a completely fictional language. So I started sitting there and I'd be in a restaurant with my friend. I'd be like, I'm going to go to Boston, Massachusetts. Went to the pharmacy. Bring that beat back. <laughs> Bring that yeah. beat back. And people around you don't even bat an eye. No. No, they're not looking at you like, what's that weird language that guy's speaking? So I did this for a month, just walking around. And I actually, I think by the end of it all, it actually, I think it actually became an actual language. Like <laughs> I think I actually started to understand What's what I called? was saying. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a name for it. Ubby Dubby. All right, my friend, I think we've done it. Thank right. you, Kat. Thank, Thank you. you. Very, very cool, much. very this cool. Is awesome.